What's good, you guys? RNR Motorsports back at you guys with another one. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over the top five mods for your 6 Series. Uh, this goes for any 6 Series model because, well, any F Series 6 Series model because they are all turbocharged. So, yeah, stay tuned for this one. Hope you guys enjoy. So the first mod that I think every 6 series owner should do is add a metal charge pipe as you guys can see right here. I added a metal charge pipe. Uh, my plastic charge pipe from the factory never blew. I never had an issue with it. But um, as you guys know if you want to turn up the boost it is plastic and it, it, it's known for getting brittle and cracking over time. Uh, it's a very common problem for like the N54s. Uh, and N55s. They revised it with the B58, but even in those cars, you can still get a upgraded charge pipe. And I guess I'll couple this with the first thing that I have is charge pipe and a down pipe. Uh, you can't really see it, but the down pipe is like down up in there under the turbo. So I'm not under, but after the turbo. Uh, but these two mods I recommend for any 6 series because number one, they're all turbocharged engines. And um, the downpipe lets your turbo flow better. Uh, the cat kind of restricts it. Although it will give you a smell, I think the performance and the uh, longevity aspect of uh, increasing the life of your turbo is uh, definitely worth it. Uh, as well as the charge pipe, if the plastic one breaks, it could leave you stranded with like a nasty boost leak and you'll have a drivetrain malfunction code. So, yeah. So, continuing to the exterior of the 6 Series, the next thing I would recommend for any 6 Series owner would have to be the wheels, the wheels on the car. Um, the factory options that you guys get for the 6 Series on any of them, whether it be the 640, the 650, uh, the M6 ha has one decent factory wheel, but for pretty much any 6 series, the uh, biggest, uh, the thing that makes the biggest difference upgrading the wheels, as you guys can see, my car looks insane, uh, with, uh, these Vorsteiner VF103s, but, um, I'll drop a pic for you guys right now of what it looks like on stock wheels, and although the stocks aren't bad, they are... They aren't really aggressive enough so look i'll show you guys like the offset and like the poke of my wheels right now um as you guys can see it sits like perfectly to the um rear fender and i'll go up to the front and show you guys as well but as you guys can see perfectly flush but um the factory wheels they they are sunken in a lot so uh, for the factory wheels that I have on my car, I, w I had to run, uh, I think, a 5mm spacer in the front and a 12 in the back for it to fit flush. So, definitely wheels makes the car look more aggressive. And the factory wheels only have a 245 on them. Uh, if you guys have a uh, non-X drive, uh, it'll, it'll be staggered 245 and I think 275 in the rear. But, uh... With these, I can run 265 in the front and 295 in the back. So it gives me more traction and a better ride. And it also looks better. So yeah. The third thing I would add to any 6 Series is um, Apple CarPlay. So as I mentioned in my last video in the 5 things that I hate, um, the CarPlay is a little bit... Um, not the CarPlay, sorry. The OEM uh, NBT system uh, has a little bit of Bluetooth connectivity issues and isn't really as intuitive as adding CarPlay. So uh, in the video, of my, in my last video, I linked the CarPlay box for you guys. And basically what that is, is 
you take out the factory screen basically you remove the trim you remove the radio then you pull out the factory screen and basically behind it uh there's a box and what the box does is you take the connector from the car plug it into the box and then plug the connector from the screen into the box as well so pretty much it intercepts that connection and it adds a carplay for you wirelessly um you also have to run an, a wire to your aux uh for audio um but it also does retain your factory um steering wheel control so i can raise and lower the volume button as well as like like as you guys can see look i'm moving the uh button on the wheel and it, it moves on the screen at the same time so as you guys can see uh it's definitely very useful and it doesn't have any connectivity issues um it's very responsive and it also maintains the great audio quality so yep the next thing i would recommend upgrading for all my six series guys uh hold on let me get a flashlight on it but if anybody with harman Kardon audio i would definitely recommend upgrading uh to the bav sound kit if you guys don't want to fabricate or, or like cut the wires uh bav sounds plug and play but you guys can also um just get different tweeters and speakers for the doors uh just match the size and it, it'll pretty much do the same thing for about half the cost but the oem harman Kardon on this sound uh sound system on this car doesn't sound the greatest um it's not bad but I, i'm not sure if mine was blown or what but it did not sound good at all uh it was pretty much just straight mids there was no lows there was no highs um i also upgraded the subwoofers they're basically under the seat the driver and the passenger seat and it sounds incredibly i mean it sounds so much different than the harman Kardon. it's a lot better um i've been in the m6 with the uh, bang and olsen and honestly the bav sound the bass hits harder than the bang and olsen i know that's a common complaint with uh the m6 guys the bang and olsen is um doesn't have enough bass but yeah the bab sound really brings out the audio in this car and the last thing i would recommend you guys upgrading on any six series is the exhaust so these cars are pretty quiet and understated from the factory but since the cabins have a lot of uh noise isolation from the factory meaning you don't get a lot of road noise an exhaust really wakes it up and it doesn't really bother your driving experience that much especially if you guys get a good exhaust system you don't really have to deal with drone but since every 6 series or f series 6 series is turbocharged um you don't really have to worry about exhaust drone like that especially if you do like downpipe and like a muffler delete uh it's not that bad with drone um so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out